studio. We yeah. have. We're in our um, online classes studio today. Yep. So we've been in here filming all morning. I will warn you now, if this is a load of waffle, it's because we've spent all morning minding our P's and Q's and actually yep. doing as many takes as we need to and not making any mistakes. So Which this is a few. <laughs> Relax, have a coffee, have and a coffee. just say whatever comes out of our mouth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here today with a pattern review. Now we yes. know it's been ages since Actual we've done one of these. So Actual sewing. Actual sewing. <laughs> and we are reviewing, should we have a little stand up? These Look. skirts. We've never done a skirt one before. I don't think we have. So, so we thought we would just, it'd be a nice quick one and they're winter weight skirts. They are. Yours is your lovely fabric that you always I'm just picking things off you. Um, I'm stroking it. It is a fluffy yes. Um, this is your fabric you got from So It is, yes, as part of our mystery shopper that we did with them. Yes. And so we'll put a link up to that video if you want to go and have a look. And your fabric was left on your doorstep, wasn't it? It was. I've got her lovely neighbour whose mother sadly passed away and she found lots of patterns and some fabrics that were left over from her mother a long time ago. And I think it's, it's I think it's 80s. I think it's an 80s fabric yeah, possibly. Yeah. It's got this sort of bright neon <laughs> thread through it. And I just fell in love with it the minute I saw it and thought I need to make a skirt out of that. Yeah. I had about three quarters of a meter, so mm -hmm. I just had enough. Yes. But, um, and we used which pattern was it again? It's the New Look 6035, which was a free pattern with Sew Magazine. She's always better with the numbers. I oh, go straight out of my head. <laughs> and I remember them for a ridiculous amount of time. I can't remember anything useful, but numbers I seem to remember. Pattern numbers, yeah. <laughs> and people's measurements. <laughs> I won't know your birthday, but, but I know, know your birth size. <laughs> So it's a nice one. It's just one of these multiple patterns that's yes. got a jacket and a skirt and a top. And trousers. And trousers. Yeah, yes. so it's, it's one so of those what they call a lifestyle wardrobe yeah, pattern. Yeah, capsule wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. so um, I think it's aimed at, um, in fact there's a blazer in it, yeah. So yes. I think it's aimed at sort of office wear or work wear. Yeah. Um, but we just quite fancied making a winter weight <coughs> skirt with a very simple A-line shape mm -hmm. and we, Nikki happened to have that pattern in her stash so yep. it just made the most sense. When I got this fabric from So Alicious, that's exactly what I envisaged making um, and, um, and so we just thought, great, it fits, let's, let's, let's do, do that. It. Yeah. Um, and obviously because we've both used quite a heavy fabric, mine in particular is a coat fabric, <laughs> Just continuing in in this random <laughs> trend that I seem to be on of making things out of inappropriate fabrics. Yeah, we both do. So, <laughs> Why so, not? Yeah, it's, it's it's very heavy, and I have to say there were some parts of it that were quite tricky as a result. But Was the skirt so itself, of course, <laughs> the skirt itself is a very very simple sew. So you oh, can yeah, um, it's very easy. any any level. So. It's a dropped, slightly dropped waist. Um, mm. It's um, it has a yoke at the top, um, which is contoured. So the skirt themselves, it's the same pack, uh, same pattern piece for the front and the back, yep. and it has no darts. And that's because the yoke is contoured, mm -hmm. which means that if you imagine those darts have already been closed, mm -hmm. that's it's a curved shape already, mm -hmm. um, which means it's really simple because you're literally sewing so the front to the back. Yeah. And then the zip doing in. the same on the Waist yoke. Bands. Yeah. And then you have a yoke facing. So you've got two of the yoke. One's on the outside. One's the facing. Thing. Yes. Side zip. Yes. Um, the pattern calls for a lap zip. I think for a big four company, the instructions are pretty good for the lap zip. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit more basting going on than I would normally think was necessary. Yeah. But if you fancy giving the pattern a go and you want an even easier explanation of a lap zip, make sure yeah. you watch our lap zip tutorial, mm -hmm. which will make it really easy for you. Unless you also choose a coat fabric, in, in which case, case there is no easy way <laughs> of putting a zip in. You opted for an invisible one in yours, didn't you? I did because my fabric was thinner and I just thought I kind of it's what it's such a simple make that mm. I kind of just went into automatic pilot. Yeah. And I don't actually remember looking at the instructions at all. Mm. I just kind of I just knew what I was doing. Yeah. Which, you know, is considering I've only been dressmaking for four years and we've finally <laughs> gotten to that point. That's good. <laughs> so I just thought I'll put an invisible zip in and, and although the fabric is a winter weight, it's still quite thin. Yeah. So it wasn't too heavy. And actually I don't remember it being any issue at all. It all went in absolutely fine. Yeah. And I think that if you are comfortable with invisible zips, as long mm -hmm. as your fabric is light enough that my coat fabric, the zip wouldn't have been strong enough no. to, to handle it. Um, so an invisible zip would have been a no-no. But if that's your preferred zip, yeah. don't worry about what the pattern says. You stick in any kind of zip that you want. Exactly. 
I wanted an invisible zip. Yeah. There's been quite a few of these made because mm -hmm. I think it has been a free pass and in some magazines and things that yeah. as well. Amanda from um, Amanda I Saw A Lot yes. has made a few of them. She has, so yeah. She's, she's done a lovely lilac one. Mm. And, and I think she actually filmed, um, we'll put a link in if we can find it, but I think she filmed a one hour challenge video yes. where she sewed the whole thing in an hour. In an hour. Which and I think that is doable, doable for yeah. the most sewing abilities. Um, I mean, obviously it depends if you're someone that really likes to take your time, then you certainly shouldn't feel under any pressure. No. But if you want a quick project, then it would mm. be great for you. I would say that I probably spent as long putting my zip in as I did sewing the rest of the skirt. <laughs> but that's only because if I stand up and show you, this is my lap zip in the side, and you can see how chunky that fabric is. Yeah. And um, I wanted a nice even lap and it needed to be completely hidden, but especially on these seams here, where you've got the yoke attached to the skirt and then you've got the facing attached to the skirt. Trying to get a nice, neat lap on a thick fabric there is really very tricky to do. Yeah. So I ended up actually having to hand baste a lot of it in place before I could take it to the machine, just because it's the only way I could control the fabric and get it flat enough. Yeah. It's also because it's wool, it didn't really want to be pressed at a temperature that allowed me to sort of get it control to it, control yeah. it, yeah. yeah. So I was having to use a cool iron. It is like you're wearing a blanket though, I do like it. It is really warm. Yeah. Although we're sat on metal chairs in here and we kept one of them out in the hallway earlier on. You know when you're wearing a short skirt and when you go to sit down, it's not always covering your bum. When I put my bum directly onto that car chair, <laughs> I soon knew about it. <laughs> Can I just say, I didn't give her the cold chair deliberately. No, but I nearly went through the roof when I sat down. It's like I sat on a bucket of ice or something. <laughs> So I definitely recommend it. I think for a beginner, if you haven't sewn a skirt before, it's a very simple one. Yeah. There's not any complicated bits about it apart from putting the zip in. Mm -hmm. And it, like we said, it would be a really quick make if you're an experienced sewer. Yes. And I think you could make it in all kinds of different fabrics. You could. Amanda made some summer ones, didn't yes. she? And we've made winter ones. And yeah. So I think you could do it in any fabric. Yeah, it would be great in a linen, it'd be great in a denim, mm. it would be great in like just a quilt weight cotton or something. If Chambray. you had a particular print that you loved, it doesn't use much at all no um, I mean it, it is uh, it's less than a meter for sure yeah um, I mean it depends on the width of your fabric I guess but mm. um, but yeah I reckon I probably only used three quarters of a meter or something yeah. like that although that is a wider fabric um, I did just in case you end up using a heavier fabric as well I did as the pattern suggested and I did actually machine stitch the facing down on the back of the yoke and I machine stitched the hem but on this fabric it just didn't look right it's got mm -hmm. quite a high pile on the fabric um, our nap is probably more accurate because we're not talking about carpets we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> it's got quite, like a, quite a heavy nap on the on the <laughs> fabric, so this machine stitching just didn't look right. So I unpicked that and I actually hand stitched my facing and my okay. hem in place. But that's just me being very particular. And it um, is a very heavy weight fabric. I didn't yeah. have to do any of that. No. And I just put a standard zip in. I did mine straight out of the box as normal. Yes. And the only thing I did is I added length to it. So as usual, because it's an above the knee skirt, I didn't want it. Ridiculously above the knee because it's got that A line shape. I yeah. prefer A line to come more towards the top of my knee. If, I, if I'm going mini, mm -hmm. I have to go tight mini. Yes. I can't go that way mini because it's just feel, yeah. feel too exposed yeah. with my legs. So yeah. I added three inches, but that's very simple to do. And I just standard. added and sanded Nikki three <laughs> inches to everything. I just extended the whole pattern down by three inches on the A line, and it was as simple as that. So. Yeah. And, um, and I think it is really versatile. So we've styled it, um, we've both got jumpers on. I've mm -hmm. got a roll neck, you've just got a round neck, and a sweater. Freezing. <laughs> um, and we've both got big thick tights on and boots because, or oh, you've got um, little, little brogues, heeled brogues, haven't you? Mm. Because it's really, really cold today. Yes. But I can imagine um, it very easily being styled for the summer as well. So if you made mm. a summer weight one, you could just chuck it on with a vest top and a pair of flip flops and it would be perfect yeah, for that as well. Yeah. I have worn this with a shirt as well. So mm -hmm. I've got a black, sort of uh, very thin chiffon shirt. Yeah. And I've worn it with that with a little cardigan over yes. the top. But then with a denim jacket or a leather jacket mm -hmm. over the top, you're ready to go out. So. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends on which fabric, but I do think it is a very good workwear skirt. Yes. So if you're in a position where you have to make or you would like to make clothes for a work wardrobe, yeah. I think it's a great one. Yeah, it you is. You could use yeah. sitting fabrics and all kinds of things. Oh yeah, as well. yeah. And, and that, I think that's the pattern is designed for that. Yeah. Because obviously you've got the blazer and the skirt, but you've also got trousers, so you could make all three out of the same fabric, and you'd have yeah. a, a skirt suit and a trouser suit 
ready, ready for work. Ready to go, yeah. Um, so great for your work wardrobe. The only thing I'll say to you ladies out there with a similar body shape to me, i.e. smaller on the waist and bigger below the waist, um, is that it is a, uh, it's a yoke, uh, which is the same as a contoured waistband really, which means that it's not designed to sit at your true waist, it's designed mm -hmm. to sit just below that. If you are particularly curvy in the hip area, the skirt will naturally want to move towards your true waist, as mm. they all do. So it might feel, if you're not used to wearing that style, it might feel like it's a little bit big. And yeah. that has just taken a bit of getting used to for me because when it's sat where it should, it's fine. But when it starts to move up here, it's a little bit on the big side. Yeah. But then I wouldn't want it any tighter than that because um, no. then it would be uncomfortable. So it's just a case of me getting used to wearing something that yeah. sits in a slightly different place to what. I would usually go for mm -hmm. but I've had my lunch now and it's still comfortable so maybe that's well, a good well, thing. maybe I need to be looking at lower waist from now on <laughs> I think maybe the fabric's not helping as well because that the kind of natural um, pile to your fabric yeah. will make it want to move as you're wearing yeah, it as well exactly. want it, it will inside. yeah so in summary, if you are new to big four patterns or big seven, I think it's supposed to be called in the now. Yeah, big it's 25. Combined. <laughs> <laughs> but by that, we mean the likes of Simplicity, New Look, Bird, and McCall's, Vogue. And then picking a really simple pattern like this that has mm -hmm. very few seams mm -hmm. and very few steps um, is a great way to kind of get used to the way that they explain things. It's not that different. And I think if you're an experienced dressmaker, you can translate them really easily. But I know some beginners do struggle with them. Yes. So picking a simple project like this one is, is a good place to start mm -hmm. um, and like we said if a lap zip is too much for you always switch to an invisible zip yeah. we've done tutorials for both we will so link you can yeah. go and check them out there yes so Coming it's been a business. while since we've said it but should we leave them with some prancy pictures oh, lovely <laughs> and it's lovely to be back yes we'll be back soon we've got more pattern reviews coming oh, on the next pattern action. review I cannot tell you how excited I am all I'm gonna say is it might be animal print and it might be a colour that you're not expecting. Oh, oh. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon, guys. Bye! Bye.